Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It is an after school slash night routine for fall 2022. I'm a sophomore in high school and you guys wanted an updated night routine and I haven't done one this year. So that's what today's video is. I do want to thank Urology for sponsoring today's video, but you guys will hear more about them in a little bit. I just got home from school. It is 4.02, which seems kind of late. My school ends at 3.21 this year because we start at 8.30 instead of last year. We started at 7.54 and ended at 2.45. So yeah, we ended at 3.21. It takes so long to get out of the parking lot because we have over 3,000 people trying to get out and in at the same time to pick up kids. And we only have one entrance and one exit. So it takes a while to filter everybody out. And then after school, my dad picked up a drive up order at Target for some groceries. And while he did that, I went in, got some Starbucks. This was so needed. Like I was very excited to get this. And then I also had stars to redeem. So I got a cake pop as well. This is not an everyday thing. This is just what I did today. And then I do have my backpack here. After school, I always bring my stuff up in my room just to kind of get it organized up here. And then depending on the day, sometimes I'll go down and have a snack. Sometimes I'll just start on my homework. It really just depends. Sometimes I do go to Starbucks with my friends after school, but I'm pretty sure we're all tired and we have a lot of tests coming up and a lot of like events in general. So yeah, that's kind of a very scrambled intro to this video. Today is Monday, October 24th. This week I feel like is going to be very busy and I have a pretty good amount of homework. In case you guys don't know, our school schedule for every Monday is all periods one through six and then obviously if you take extra periods you'd have those. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays we have our even periods and then Wednesdays and Fridays we have our odd periods. So the rest of the week is block schedule. Mondays on the other hand are not. So Mondays I tend to have more homework and I'm just more tired by the end of the day because I have all my classes but I do need to film this video. So I'm going to take you guys along with my night routine and what I do after school. So anyways, like I was saying, it is currently around four o'clock after school. Today, I don't really have that much going on. I just have some homework to do. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is just unpack my backpack and make sure my Chromebook is plugged in because we do have Chromebooks for school. I'll show you mine. So our school like assigns everyone one of these Chromebooks because they don't want us to use our own, I guess. Here's what the inside looks like. These are super like durable and really get you through a lot. Like some people drop these like really hard and they don't break. But the first thing I like to do is plug this in because if mine dies, I don't bring my charger to school. So we definitely need to plug this in. And then I'm just gonna take out literally everything out of my backpack and try to figure out and organize everything that I have. Before we continue with today's video, I wanted to pop in and quickly talk to you about today's video sponsor, which is Curology. Thank you again to Curology for sponsoring today's video. I've been using Curology for over a year now and I love it. For those of you that don't know, Curology is a website where you can get personalized skincare formulas provided by real providers. Before starting Curology, I had a bunch of like tiny little bumps on my forehead and around my T-zone. And when they started showing up a lot, I started to get really self-conscious of them and always wanted them to just go away. And I never could find skincare that really helped me with that. So then around July or August of 2021, I decided to try Curology and you guys, it worked so well for my skin. I no longer have those bumps. I have less breakouts and my skin just feels really healthy. I even got my sister to start Curology and we've both been using it for the past like year now and it's even worked really well on her skin too. I love how easy it is to use Curology on their website and their products. Their website has a skin quiz that you can take so that they know exactly what you need to help your skin and their skincare consists of three steps which is their cleanser, prescription, and moisturizer and that is super easy to handle and do every day. I try to keep my skincare routine to a minimum so these three steps are super easy. Also your skin skincare changes as your skin changes. So if you ever feel like you need to change your prescription to better fit your skin, you can easily contact your dermatology provider and they will do that for you. For my routine, I personally use their cleanser, prescription, and their moisturizer. And I use the cleanser and moisturizer both morning and night and then the prescription only at night. I literally love Curology and I definitely will be using it for a while. If you've been following me for a while, you definitely know that I have been loving Curology despite them sponsoring this video. And honestly, their sponsor was super exciting to me because I love them as a brand itself and so I was really excited to share this with you guys. And if you are interested in buying from Curology, you can get a 30-day free trial at this link which is on the screen and it will also be in the description down below. And you just have to pay $5 for shipping and handling which is amazing. I truly love Curology and their products and I would highly suggest you check them out. Like I said, I put their link in the description for those of you that are interested in checking them out. So thank you once again to Curology for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go check them out in the link down in the description and stay 
stay tuned till later in the video to see how I kind of utilize them in my night routine. By the way, if you guys didn't notice, I did get a new backpack this year. I got it like a few weeks ago. My other one that was like pink from Herschel, I had it all of freshman year and then starting this year and like a few weeks ago, I noticed there was a hole like in the bottom of it and I don't know how that's even possible, but there was a hole and there was like ants and stuff starting to crawl into it and it also had like water stains on the back, which is kind of weird. So I retired that backpack, got a new one. Jansport honestly is my favorite brand for backpacks. They last so long, they're durable. And I just have this navy blue one, very simple. It also fits quite a lot. But yeah, that's a little backpack update. Now what I'm going to do is write slash update my planner. I have definitely been trying to use my planner a lot more this year. And so far I've been very successful. I've used it every week of this school year so far. And it's actually super, super helpful. I feel like this year, since I'm taking more accelerated courses, they have a lot more work. So like this was last week. It's kind of hard for you guys to see the pen, but I do like a new color every week. So I'm going to start filling out this week. And I also like to put like tests and quizzes on Mondays because usually that's when teachers tell us that we have something. So I'll go in and fill in when I have like tests and quizzes and stuff. Okay, so honestly today I feel like I don't have a lot of homework, but it's only because the homework is like within these bullet points. So I have AP Euro homework, Spanish, and math, which honestly I feel like is pretty good because I don't have any chem or English homework. And then I have two tests on Friday, which I put right here, one for AP Euro and one for math. So I have that. And then there's like other stuff I can add throughout the week, but I'm going to keep this open while I do my homework so that I can keep track of everything that I have done and that I need to do. So now it's time to just get started with my homework and also eat a snack. I always try to eat a snack like right after school because I get home at like four-ish, sometimes earlier, sometimes later, which doesn't give me a ton of time before dinner. Like dinner is usually at six. So that's like two hours. So I don't want to eat too close to dinner because then I'm not hungry. My snack today is a cake pop. If I'm still hungry, I might grab like some Chex Mix or something, but I'm definitely going to get started on my homework now. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could tell by the lighting, but it is now 5.55 p.m. And let me tell you, if you're ever interested in taking like the more accelerated classes such as honors or AP, just be prepared for the work because I know like everyone says that, but I feel like sometimes I just don't believe it or like I'll take an honors class last year that didn't have a lot of homework and then I don't expect it to have a lot this year, but it does. Every day this year, I've had at least an hour of homework. On average, I'd say I have about two to two and a half, maybe maybe three hours every night. It really depends, but it is basically six o'clock now and my mom is cooking dinner right now. It's fried rice. I am so excited. So I'll be eating that within the next like 20 minutes. I really try to get my homework done quickly tonight so I would have enough time to film. So I barely drink any of this. I still have a lot left, which I'm definitely okay with because I love this drink. I honestly am not even fully done with my homework tonight. There's still some stuff that I probably should do, but it's only if I have enough time later to do it. Like it's not my first priority if that makes sense. But but yeah, that is a little update. By the way, if you're wondering what academic classes I'm taking this year, I'm taking AP European History, Spanish 2, Honors English 2, Honors Algebra 2, Trigonometry, and Honors Chemistry. Those are all the academic classes and those are all the ones that give me homework. I would say AP European History definitely has a lot of homework, which makes sense because it's an AP History class. So like there's a lot of notes you have to take from the textbook at home, even though you take a bunch at school. And we also have this separate 
year-long project that goes in a notebook where you're basically writing a bunch of essays each unit. So that class definitely has a lot of homework. Surprisingly, I didn't have, well, actually, no, that's not true. I have some homework for that tonight. I need to print out a study guide and start working on it because I have a test on Friday. But that's the class that usually gives me a lot of homework. Math is pretty close up there. Chemistry, honestly, I have barely any homework. I feel like I finish it all the time at school. Spanish, I rarely have homework, but my teacher is gone this week. So she's just posting like a bunch of assignments every day for us to do. And none of our Chromebooks at school were working today. Like none of the links would work. So we couldn't do it at school. So I had to do it all at home, which is what took the most time. And English, I don't have a lot of homework usually unless we're reading a book. We just finished our book. So I don't have any this week, but I probably will next week. That's a little update on like school stuff. I'm definitely getting tired, especially because the sun is already starting to set. Like it's literally six o'clock and it's already going down. I'll show you guys in a minute. I don't know. I don't really like that. Like it just, the fact that it goes down so early is really sad because all the daylight is gone. Like it's kind of hard for you guys to tell, but my desk lighting isn't super bright, which honestly on camera, it looks pretty bright. But compared to like when the sun is actually up, this is pretty dark. I'm gonna go down and eat some dinner with my family. And after that, I'll probably finish up some homework slash work on my computer. Okay, so I'm back in my room after dinner. It's like seven o'clock now. And as you can see, it's very dark outside. That's literally the reflection of the hallway. It's pitch black and it's only seven o'clock. I honestly don't have much to do. And my sister wanted me to shower first today because obviously we share a bathroom. So I'm gonna shower. But first we're gonna prep my room for nighttime where I turn on all my fun lights and make it more vibey, I guess. I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed. On my brain, but got it good. Can't complain. It's like I'm losing my okay. Welcome to my bathroom. I know the audio is probably gonna be pretty echoey, that's just how it is in here. Normally, I shower closer to nine o'clock at night, so I usually brush my teeth before and do all that and then shower. But since I'm showering at like seven, which by the way is like the earliest I've showered in a while, except for yesterday, I showered at like 7 30, which felt really good, so I'm glad I'm doing it today. But, anyways, since I'm showering at like seven, I'm not gonna brush my teeth before before because I'll probably end up eating something afterwards, maybe like a muffin or something, I don't know. But yeah, usually I would brush my teeth before and then shower, but today I'm just gonna shower first. I will be using my Curology products. I normally wash my face in the shower, so I get in and I turn the water to like cool, kind of like not freezing cold, but just cool. And then I wash my face with the cold water so that it's not hot on my skin because I know washing your face with hot water isn't too good for your skin. So I wash my face with the Curology cleanser in there and then I do like shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Hi guys, so I'm back. As you can see, I've showered and now it's time for skincare. I'm gonna be using my prescription and my moisturizer from Curology. Like I said, I do my cleanser while I'm in the shower. So now we're just gonna be using this. It's literally only 7.35 right now, which to me is like really good for myself, I guess, because usually around this time, I would say I'm doing homework. On average, I would say I would be doing homework from when I get home and then to when we eat dinner and then I have a little bit more after dinner. So I think on a normal day I would be doing homework right now which I technically do have homework that I still probably could do but the fact that I don't have like a ton to do right now is amazing and also the fact that I've already showered like that just helps so much which means I still have like a good amount of time left of the night to just do more work basically but I just did the prescription and now I'm just letting it dry for just a little bit normally when I'm like doing my whole skincare routine in the bathroom after I get out of the shower i would do the prescription and then i like brush my hair and stuff and then i do the moisturizer because that gives it enough time to like dry but since i've been doing it at my desk recently we're just gonna fan it out for a second also i forgot to mention this earlier but curology does also have like chapstick and pimple patches and a body wash for if you have body acne i think is what it's called which is like back acne or chest and stuff like that i've used their pimple patches a few times and i do like them and my sister also 
also uses their chapstick and I'm pretty sure she likes it because she keeps reordering it. So they obviously have more products than just the basic skincare if you're interested. Like I said, their link is in the description down below. Now that I've finished that, I'm just gonna put on some of this lip sleeping mask. I do this every morning and every night just because it keeps my lips nice and hydrated and it feels really good. But yeah, that is everything for my little skincare routine at night. It's now like 7.40. So with this free time that I have, I think I'm gonna go downstairs and probably eat like something small just as a little snack before like the end of the night. And I'm gonna go on my computer and just do some computer work, mainly in regards to YouTube. I'm mainly just gonna be going through comments because today is a Monday. So I did post a video. I posted my what's on my iPhone video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. I'll put it up here in the iCard. But I posted that this morning and I'm gonna go through the comments now and I'm probably playing plan a few other future videos. Alright guys, so it is now 8.45 p.m. As you guys saw, I brushed my teeth and I put in my retainer. So I'm going to try not to talk too much for the rest of this video because they gave me a list. But since it is 8.45, I still have obviously some time to do stuff. And I've been trying to read a little bit every night before I go to bed. I just started this book the other day. It's called Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. A girl in Barnes & Noble recommended it to me like before summer and I haven't read it. But I just started it so far. It's pretty pretty good and I've been trying to read like a few chapters before bed every night so I'll save this to like right before I go to bed just because it helps me fall asleep. I think for the next just 15-20 minutes I'm gonna work a little bit on a study guide for my history class just so that I have some of it done to like study in the next few days so I'm gonna do that and then try to go to bed at a reasonable time. Okay, so I've been reading for about 30 minutes now and I'm definitely getting tired so I'm going to go to bed now. So yeah, that is the end of today's video. I will be filming a morning routine somewhat soon. It should be like the next video posting I believe, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you again to Curology for sponsoring this video. You guys should definitely go check them out down below. And yeah, that is all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I post every Monday at 7am PST. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!